it's time to get a little crazy. For today I have from Mattel's WWE Basic Series 111 line. She is the best friend and tag team partner of Alexa Bliss. She is Nikki Cross. Believe it or not, this is Nikki Cross's second Mattel action figure. Her first one was an Elite when she was still part of Sanity slash post Sanity. But this is her first action figure. Unfortunately, it's a basic, but it's her as part of the team with Alexa Bliss. And just because I can, and it's a review of a Nikki Cross figure, but it bears repeating, last year at WrestleMania 35 Fan Access, I got to meet Nikki Cross. She is a bit shorter than me, but just as adorable in real life as she is on television. But now, let's take a closer look at her basic figure in the basic packaging. Basic Series 111 WWE logo. And there is the beautiful smile of Miss, well, technically Mrs. Nikki Cross. Well, actually, no, wait. She's Mrs. Killian Dane. You know what I mean. There's her figure, not so happy, Nikki Cross. And on the back, the others you can get in the line. I've already reviewed Bray Wyatt. There's Jeff Hardy, Eric Rowan, Nikki Cross, and Kevin Owens. But now, without further delay, let's get this happy-go-lucky partner out of the packaging. And here Nick is saw. Nikki Cross out of the packaging. And by the way, that was not planned. It's just that the basic articulation obviously sucks. Now, let's take a closer look at this fair skin Scottish lass. Here is her face. A very good likeness of Nikki Cross. Definitely somewhat of an improvement over the last one. The only thing I do not like about this figure, other than it being a basic is that it's the exact same expression as her previous figure. This is supposed to be the happy-go-lucky, overly excited with Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross. This still looks like Sanity, Nikki Cross. Hopefully, when her next figure comes out, who knows when, they'll fix this. Otherwise, hair looks great, eyes look great, and so on. Here is her attire. I love the colors of the light pink and the light blue. It says Nikki there. It's pink and the letters are blue. The X is gray. It's great. It's great. Here's her logo on her back and her black tights. And here are her long black tights with a little rip by her right knee and she's got on short black laced up wrestling boots and here's the back of Nikki Cross now there is a chase variant of this figure I'll put a picture of the chase variant right here the difference is the top is black but it looks like it has a blue corset and it's got these little buckles going over there and her long tights are gray instead of black with the tears over here being black and that's really about it now i like both figures although i kind of wish they would switch it around keep this top but the pants gray i don't think she ever wore that combo but i think that's better in my opinion but that is it for 
this review of Basic Series 111 Nikki Cross. Tell me, what do you guys think? And do you prefer Happy Go Lucky partner of Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross? Or do you prefer heel, psychotic, unpredictable Nikki Cross? Let me know down in the comments below. But until the next review I do, which will be an elite figure, I will see you soon. Now, if I had two Nikki's in this review, would that be a double cross?